A year ago today, I promised myself that I would do an ab exercise every single day for an entire year. just over a year. That meant rain or shine, sickness or health, traveling or at home, I promised myself I was gonna do apps. <laughs> so why the heck did I decide to do this to myself? Number one, I love challenging myself and I wanted to see if I could stick to something for an entire year, anything. I'm one of those people who kind of gets into something and then is less interested and has a lot of hobbies but doesn't necessarily stick with the same thing for a long period of time so I wanted to prove to myself that I could do something for an entire year. Number two I wanted it to be something that was achievable and simple and something that I would set myself up for success. Doing abs takes 10 minutes every single day and even if you're the president of the United States you have 10 minutes to dedicate to yourself. This was more of a curiosity. I'm a MBA student or just graduated from UC Berkeley and one of our core beliefs is student always. So I'm always curious about what works, what doesn't, and why. I want to add a few disclaimers because it's hashtag YouTube. <laughs> Number one, you obviously don't need abs to be happy. I was happy before, I'm happy now, and it really doesn't matter. This really was for fun. I'm very body positive and I believe in health at every size and I don't believe in diet culture and I'll, I heard something about that right now. For me, this was more a, a mental exercise than anything and again, showing that I could do something for an entire year. Also, genetics play a huge role in where your body stores fat. For me, my legs are tend to be the area in which my body likes to host my hibernation nutrients, you know what I mean? My body type has always had a slimmer stomach. That's just the way that I'm built. That means that my results may not be similar to your results uh, based off of where you genetically hold your uh, the majority of your body fat. And neither is good or bad. It's just accepting what type of body you have and working with your best assets. So I just wanted to see if far I could get what I consider one of my best assets, like how developed I could get that. I just thought it would be fun and that's really all it was. So what ab exercises did I do? Well, I can say that I did pretty much all of them. <laughs> When I was traveling, I would do it in my hotel rooms or my Airbnb. If I was at school, I would go to the school gym. If I was visiting a family member, I would do it in their dining room or living room or wherever there was some carpet and enough space. I did abs everywhere. I did abs in Boston and California and New York and Nebraska. I did them in Chicago when I had my road trip across the US. I really did them everywhere. When I started out doing ab exercises, I mainly did a lot of crunches and that sort of thing, your kind of traditional ab exercises, but that got boring really quick and I realized that my body wasn't going to develop because even though I saw changes in the beginning, you have to continue to, <laughs> continue to up the ante, which means I either had to do more abs or I had to add in weight. So I found that by adding a five pound dumbbell, that was super helpful in terms of developing more strength in my core, as well as showing kind of your 11 lines. I have an entire workout on my channel that is aimed towards getting the quote unquote ab crack. So when I started, I had what I would say is just a pretty flat stomach with very little definition. Now I will put in my after shot, which was shot in a different video. Here, 
And you can see now that I have really significant lines down the side of my stomach. And in different photos, you can also see that I have a pretty significant ab crack at the upper ab. Um, also in the right lighting, and it's really hard to capture on <laughs> camera, but I do even have some vertical lines coming across my stomach. And I think those really started to develop for two reasons. Number one, I added weights, as I mentioned. And number two, I just started walking a lot more. So low intensity steady state cardio can burn more fat over time. Walking is one of the most underrated exercises. And when I moved to New York, I increased my mileage by a couple miles a day in contrast to when I was living in San Francisco, simply because that was how I got around, especially in the summer. I didn't want to take the Metro. So I live in downtown. If I wanted to go to Midtown or Soho or NoHo, I would just go for a walk. I also loved exploring the city. And so in addition to having a good amount of ab ex exercises, I did shed some fat as well. Um, which allowed my body to showcase what was in development under under my layers before. And I really don't think abs matter at all. I just know a lot of people ask me, how did I get abs? And this is the honest truth. It was 10 minutes of abs every day and lots of walking. I'm going to show some of my favorite exercises now. Number one, the reverse ab crunch. So basically what you do is you lay on the floor and hold either a dumbbell, a heavy dumbbell, or any sort of like furniture piece, like it could be your couch behind your head, and you roll your feet up to your, like in a ball <laughs> up to your forehead and down. And that really develops a lot of your upper abs and I found that that was one of the most, um, one of the best exercises. Also in yoga, if you're in downward dog and you have one of your legs up and you take your leg, you take your knee from up in the air to one of your elbows, either elbow um, or sometimes both elbows, that's going to really develop your obliques. And that was something else that I saw a lot of um, development in. And I went from doing a couple minutes of abs to probably 10 minutes of abs by the end of the year because as I mentioned, it just took so much longer for me to become fatigued because I had built such significant muscle. Um, so what I would do is either at the beginning of my workout or the end of the workout or if I needed kind of like a breather in the middle of my workout, I would just go to the mat and do 10 minutes of abs. Um, I also started doing like vertical leg raises. So I would get, um, I would hop onto a bar or use, I have no idea what this, I'll enter a photo, <laughs> but this machine thing. And I would do hanging leg raises. And I found that that really developed a lot of strength too. So now the moment that we've all been waiting for my before and after. So this was me before the year of abs and this is me after. So as you can see, I just have a lot more development in my stomach and um, I think it's, it's definitely noticeable. Tell me in the comments below. And what I think I liked most about the challenge was that I set this goal for myself and I actually did it, which made me feel really proud of myself. And even though it's a really small goal, I think any sort of goal setting, whether that's career driven or fitness or physique driven or family relationship driven, any sort of goal that you set for yourself that you end up achieving just makes you feel like you can set that next big goal. I never thought that I could run a marathon. So I, I decided to sign up for a marathon and then I ran that marathon, not particularly well, but I finished and I ran it. <laughs> and it, once I did that, I kind of felt like I could do anything. And then I set a goal for myself to, to go to business school. And I wanted to go to one of the top business schools in the US. A top 10 business school and then I got into UC Berkeley Haas which is a top 10 business school and then I felt like I could do something even bigger so I set even another goal which was to start my own tech company and I did it uh, definitely visit us at sweet social Inc on Instagram um, if you're a creator or influencer and you want to connect with brands in an intelligent way and feel like you can have some negotiating power which they pay you to create content for them definitely check us out because I'm a creator too and I have your back, so definitely do that, but enough about that. <laughs> what I'm saying is that when you start setting goals for yourself and you start achieving those goals, you build 
and you build to greater and greater goals. And so the more that you can set yourself up for success in life and really try to achieve that next goal, the more empowered you're gonna feel to reach even higher and do even bigger things. So although doing 10 minutes of abs may seem like a superficial goal, for me, it was more about proving to myself that I could have the dedication to do something every single day. And I'm really happy to say that I did that. And having great abs is cool, but it really doesn't matter that much. And so regardless of where you are on your fitness and physique journey, know that you're beautiful. Know that you definitely don't need abs. Know that nothing in my life really changed outside of me just being more dedicated towards something every single day. And if you have abs or you don't have abs, it won't change your life. What really matters is what you achieve in this lifetime and who you impact. So the next time you go to set a goal, just know that that's a great thing and that you can achieve it. And this is super cheesy, but I truly believe that. Thank you so much for watching. I will link down below all of my ab exercise videos that I've done. Some of those are a little outside of the year, but most of them have been filmed within the year. And let me know if you have set up yourself for any challenges. We all know that New Year's resolutions are coming up in January 2020. So definitely start thinking about what little goals, big or small, you want to achieve for yourself. Thanks so much for watching.